What is going on lads and welcome back to your weekly eFootball 2022 roundup. So V1.1.4 is upon us, it has released and it is available to download and update your eFootball 22 game now. So yeah, we're going to crack on with it, we'll keep this short and sweet. As you can see on the screen here at the moment, we have our three new legends that have been added to the game. So we've got Badis Judah, we've got Aldier, we've got Nakata. I'm going to be doing a specific player review on these players and a pack review on these. Um, I mean, they're a mixed bag, but they're, you know, Nakata is quite a decent player if you check his stats. And Badis Judah is obviously going to be a really good goal scorer as well. We will do a bit of a review on that. But uh, yeah, they are the three new legends. We've also got on top of the legends, we have got the changes to, you know, squads and stuff. There's a couple of updates on that, not much. And then in Dream Team, we have got a new event, which is uh, the eFootball League is all the same. But the event here that we have is just a rinse and repeat user matches versus user matches, the worldwide clubs uh, with Barcelona front and center. Um, we also have the English League that's been on for the last couple of days. So if you've missed that, make sure and check that out. That, that that's actually quite a decent one. This Worldwide Club is one. Man, they need some. They need to switch it up a bit, man. They need to switch things up a bit because it's just getting rinse and repeat and it's the same thing all the time. And the rewards aren't even worth really playing for, in my opinion. You're better off play the actual league divisions and try and get up and down the divisions or whatever. So we're actually going to go over now to, uh, let me see. Yeah, we're going to go over to the actual website, the Konami official website, and we're going to take a look at uh, all the releases and all the information that they kind of put out with v1.1.4 so the first one is just to, a reminder to claim your phase three rewards obviously when phase four ends which phase four is on until the 11th of august i think um make sure and just claim your rewards before then by logging into the to the eFootball league um, and then we've got a lot of details and a lot of updates on the mobile version of the game. Now, this is a little bit disappointing, right? Because we've got two uh, information releases for two pages of, you know, stuff that's been updated for the mobile. As you can see, they're one of one, one of two, two of two. And it's just like long loads of updates and loads of fixes and tweaks. This is the one for the PS4, um, which is like, you know, a lot of mentions of global improvements and this and that and whatever. So we will go through both of them. But yeah, I'm disappointed, man. I mean, I know I get a lot of people watching that play uh, Pez on mobile and like I respect and appreciate anyone um, that plays on whatever platform, be it PS4, be it PS5, be it mobile. But my issue is that like it needs to be down the line with all the updates. If the updates are coming for iOS, such as a friendly match, it needs to be in console as well, in my opinion, um, to keep things, you know, as fair and as transparent as possible um, in terms of like the updates. I think that's what they need to do. Um, I'm sure they will add friend match soon, but yeah, I mean, it just needs to come soon, man, because that's a huge addition that mobile guys have. So you guys that do play on mobile, enjoy. That's all I will say, because um, it would be game changing for me for the content I could put out if I could invite players in to play a match in certain situations. We could do, you know, tournaments, we could do competitions, we could do, you know, challenges, we could do all that sort of stuff. But getting into the actual update file release uh, information, we have got a new update file is now available and they talk about adding the friend match, adding a home button for easier access, adding added standard defending control types, um, you know, for touch and flick control type, dash can now be performed. So a lot of these stuff will be relevant to you guys that play on mobile. Graphic settings can now be con co configured. They talk about gameplay fixes and adjustments, reevaluated the balance between attack and defense. That's very interesting to me because I think at the moment it's way too attack based and that, you know, you don't really have any risk for going all out, you know, bum rushing and, 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 and like really just literally running into opponents players implemented adjustments so that possession will be recovered adequately when performing a press towards the opposition. That is massive as well um that's a big issue in the console version as well at the moment is that like you can press forward like with like nine players um and if you lose the ball you don't get caught on the break as much as you used to before now i'm not saying that that's like a bad thing all the time but if i'm push pushing forward and going all out attack and like teammate pressing all over the pitch i should be i should be you know punished for it um Implemented adjustments so that when performing a matchup, the player will no longer turn his back towards the opposition dribbler. That's a big issue in the console version as well, and I hope that they fix that. Fix the issue where players cannot block horizontal passes, even when in a position where a block can be performed. Again, I haven't really seen that one too much, but again, I'm not playing mobile too much. 
To prevent erroneous triggering of call for pressure, the slide input range that triggers a call for pressure command has been increased by 1.5. And there's a load of adjustments, like a load of different things that you can see here, decreased inertia of players for in-movement stops and turns, including mid-dash, improved response times for kick commands during a mid-dribble, improved response for turns and kicks, especially in low-speed dribbles. Dribbles, a fix the issue where players may not control oncoming balls in an adequate fashion. There's just so many like fixes here, lads, to go through. Fix the issue where the player may unintentionally dash or overly decelerate when trapping. That has happened to me a good few times where it looks like I'm holding sprint and the player is actually sprinting, but you're not holding sprint. It's just the momentum and the player's um, running style. Increased accuracy for first time shot attempts from pacey passes. Fix the issue for touch and flick control type where a dash dribble may be erroneously the trigger when performing a passing or shooting command. So there's a load of stuff here. And there's also a second page where they talk about, you know, general fixes applied to mitigate or eliminate the bug shown below, just about crashes and stuff like that. Um, you know, players uh, not displayed as captain or players that join attack are incorrect. For certain devices, quickly dragging and dropping the players may result in the game plan. We'll see the icons disappear, the players will disappear. So there's loads of stuff here, lads. There's absolutely loads of stuff in the actual mobile version there's loads of ui changes it seems to be that there's a massive um you know update gone in for v1.1.4 and when we get to the actual console version right which are both the same for xbox and ps5 and next gen and last gen um there's there's a lot of fixes but obviously it's more kind of like ui things and it's more like um you know, kind of like ease of access things rather than actual gameplay stuff. So we'll go, go through it here. This is for console and PC. Uh, so the application may crash due to an error in game plan of Dream, Dream, Dream Team. In match roles are not carried over to the next best suited player after substituting a starting player with acquainted roles or appointed roles with a player from the bench. In game plan, the names of players appointed under in match roles, players to join attack are not refreshed, even if the concerned players have been subbed off. So that means that if you have got your center back to join attack and then you sub him off, that his replacement isn't going to be, you know, as players to join attack. By performing certain controls, a goalkeeper could be appointed to join in an attack. Um, duration of content is displayed after matching with an opponent via Dream Team Quick Online Match. For unskippable goal celebrations, the skip option may be displayed. Um, so yeah, there's a load of stuff there, obviously. Um, they're saying about freezes and about like, you know, improving the, the minor adjustments have you made to each mode and matches with the aim play, with the aim, with the aim to improve the overall gameplay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, in my opinion, right, they need to go into a lot more detail about the gameplay fixes for V1.1.4. Now, we're going to have a review on it. We're going to play a couple of games today at lunch and... Uh, get into it and see what we're actually up against and see what the gameplay is. They also talk about, this is for iOS and Android again, they also just reiterate the changes that they've made for the control types. They also talk about the friend match, which is available for just mobile. And uh, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's huge, man. I mean, that's my biggest disappointment, I think, with this V1.1.4. I know it's going to come uh, down the line. I know they're working on it, but it's just, that's going to be so huge. I'm so excited to try that because I'll be able to do so much content, get you guys involved, playing matches or whatever, um, and challenges and stuff. They also talk about known issues for all console editions and PC editions of the game where they talk about, we're currently hard at work for issues on all known issues. See the notice release along with each update to see which issues have been addressed. They also talk about the eFootball Championship Open. So this is a big one, man. This is going to cause a lot of contro controversy, I think, in the community because there is a lot of people that have been, that have been uh, you know, like removed from the rankings. So if we go in here to the EU PlayStation rankings, you can see that the top, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of the top uh, here are grayed out. So it means they're disqualified. Um, then we have Bestia and Oral Daniel, and then we have the two here, and then we have uh, Sergio Babica and Panos Bol. Alfonso Grey Fox, I, I mean, I don't know, maybe there's a, there has to be a couple of, um, I mean, he's an Italian guy, um, really, really good player as well. There probably could be a couple of mistakes in this, I would say, um, but you can see here that there's a lot of people that have basically you know, being banned across all platforms. Like it's not just, you know, one or the other. It's it's on everything. It's on PC. It's on mobile. You can see here in the EU mobile. You can see here that the top few are. You can see in the Asia mobile market where the rankings are. You can see that there's a few there. There's also in the US mobile. You can see that there's a few there. There's a lot in the US one. So 
yeah, let's look. Um, obviously, it just has to be remain to be seen whether they've got all of these right or all, some of them wrong. I mean, I'm sure some people have actually been done har- harshly by this and that actually weren't cheating. Um, but then obviously there is some players that would have been cheating and have been punished. So it remains to be seen who actually is legitimately cheating and who isn't um, and who's tampering with stuff. But yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will be back quite soon with a V1.1.4 uh, gameplay impressions and i will also be back with the review of the as roma pack until next time lads i hope you enjoyed the video for your efootball 22 roundup i will talk to you later peace let me know what you guys think of v1.1.4 as well and uh yeah all right good luck